Hey, what's up? I'm Mark Appleyard. Welcome to the first issue of I Dabble Video Magazine. In this issue, we've got crewed up with the Fellows Union Curb Club. We're gonna go check in with the boys at Pharmacy Long Beach. We're gonna go say what's up to Tori Pudwell for a segment called Lounging with Legends. We're gonna go over to the barracks and say what's up to Yoon and see what he's got in the bag. We're gonna go off topic for Tony Carr. And to finish it off, we're gonna go check out the skate house of James Fitz and D. Ostrander. Dune Pastress, artist, curb lover, family dude, skateboarder, and yeah, we're at our second home, which is Home Depot. Somewhere around 2015, curbs made a super strong comeback in my life. I think part of it was just having a kid, having jobs, and not having a whole lot of time. So, you know, I just lost those four to five hours it takes to get a, a killer like street clip and be on a mission, you know? I'd literally be like, I got fucking 45 minutes to skate. Where do I skate? Home Depot, you know? Cause I live like a mile away. So it kind of happened out of necessity and just need to be on my board and just like time management. Like dad, adult, 45, 46 year old dude that just doesn't have more than 45 minutes. It's like, where do you skate? A fucking parking lot, you know? And um, I think it was just, there was more skateboarders than I thought that were in my position. Like, let's all fucking meet in the morning or lunch break and get a fucking heated curb session on.
an undisclosed location. Usually we roll uh, at least five, six deep um, on a good day, 10, 15. On a really crazy day, 20. I'm, I'm actually the youngest member at 35. Some days I feel super old, but not when I hang out with these guys. These guys are... We're still doing it. We're always skating like every Saturday, Sunday, and then really early, like 7 a.m. sessions on the weekdays sometimes. It's just kind of fun, because you're like, well, I ain't jumping down big shit anymore, yeah. but oh, curbs, curbs are cool. Yeah, now like, six yeah. stairs looks like Keep 15 now. Some of us can only do board slides. Some of us can do like fucking switch slappy, switch flips out. Like there's all levels in the crew. But it's fun, it's good times. Uh, no age limit, no age requirement, you know, just the pure love of skateboarding. He's been known to kill a spot before getting out of the car. He doesn't sweat. He once sacked a handrail just to see what it felt like. If a sponsor sends him a box with no address, it still arrives. He is the most interesting skater in the world. You know, I don't always watch skateboarding, but when I do, it's I double VM. Stay skating, my friends. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Hi, baby. How are you? I'm good. Another day at the <laughs> shop. I know, right? Hi. Holding down the block, you know. Damn. This is a shot where you could just come, say what's up. Pull them off. All you, bro. What's up? It's Boo Johnson. And we're in downtown Long Beach at the new pharmacy board shop. We try to carry all the boys' boards. Our pharmacy apparel is crazy. We got all types of chino pants to lightweight t-shirts. And the graphics are just like sick, dude. We're holding it down for pharmacy and every other company out there that's trying to do their thing. You know, pharmacy board shops here to support and hold whoever's down in the industry. Damn. <laughs> It's all about just having fun and spreading the love. The shop's open Monday through Sunday, 11 to 8 p.m. So come say what's up, come watch some skate videos. Whatever the case is, man, we're here, downtown Long Beach. Flying trucks are back. Use your imagination to dig up all sorts of creativity, stronger than ever. New tough designs can handle it all. Now on skateboard version, 7.75, 8.0, 8.25, lined. collect them all. Oh. I dabble VM, how are ya? Welcome. So this is just a daily ritual. We got pro skaters at the crib. We're gonna skate, we're gonna film some grip tape commercials. Sierra's coming over to the house. Mr. High Sierra himself. This is what we got coming down the pipeline here. Being a nice little package. Grizzly grease. Get down with the slickness. This is lemon grease. Mmm. Wanna smell this, Jordan? I make these. Probably show them this. Show them seven. Just show them the operation. This is the lab. Check it out. You know, Grizzly Grease at its finest. You got Barry Winkle, Grizzly Apple Smith, Rowl in the Dark, Pink Berry. They're all there. You want a glove? You got a Michael Jackson on him? One glove? Oh, 
I'm reaching there. Fuck no, dude. Are you kidding? You got a glove on. That's the point of the glove. Right now, I'm over at the at the at the crib with Jordan Max Ham. We're just moving some boxes, and Sierra's gonna meet up. Once Sierra gets here, we're gonna uh, hop on the road. Dude, that's it. That's the end of the day, man. I, I don't think I got much more in me. Just had a really fun skate sesh. Sierra's finishing up his grip commercial. Jordan nailed it earlier today. Um, it's just a productive day. You're watching I Dabble VM. <laughs> Bitch. photographer at the barracks. We're gonna check out what's in my bag, what I'm holding, what I'm packing. I'm packing a lot of heat. This is the big gun. This is the main mode of transportation. It's Canon EOS 1DX Mark I with a 7200 millimeter lens with a rad image stabilizer. It makes sure that everything's looking good. It's also my favorite lens because I'm kind of compensating for other things in my life that aren't as large. That's why I like holding it like this. You got to hold it correctly around the shaft and cradle the undercarriage. Make sure that you've got a tight grip on things, right? I'm going to open up the bag. 50 millimeter lens for the portraits. You know, if you're trying to get that nice soft focus. A wide lens right here for product shots and events and stuff like that. The standard skateboarding fisheye lens. I don't have the super wide. I have this one because it's done me well this far and I like having that 2.8. I've been at war with this baby. It's a Hasselblad 203 FE. It's my security blanket. Lots of rolls of film, Porsche 400, 120 rolls, some Kodak 800, some Provia 400, and some black and white plus X. I also have a Nikon SB26. This one is as a built-in slave. Not that kind of slave. The kind of slave that would be on a flash. And I don't know where the dildo is. I thought it was in here, but it's not. And there's a toothbrush in there. Yeah, so this is uh, what's in my bag, and this is to carpal tunnel syndrome in my near future. Uh, yeah. 
within every man lies a beast, patiently waiting for the catalyst, that which might awake the animal, man running from his instincts, seeking sophistication, using communication, symbolic thought, that which we use to separate ourselves from our animal brethren. Well, I'm Tony Carr. Um, we're in Long Beach, kind of like in the PCH, you know, Cambodian section of town. You know, it's a, uh, it's my, uh, it's my, my little factory. You know, it's my, my workshop, my dungeon, my uh, <laughs> laboratory, whatever you want to call it. You know. Just um, basically, I just cut skateboards and work on guitar parts in here. I started doing this because um, when I used to skate for heroin skateboards and I would make shapes for them, but I could only do about one a year, you know? And like I had so many ideas for different shapes that I'd want to make that I'd just get bored, you know? Yeah. You know, it was cool to be able to work with them and do shapes, but I needed to do more. I've been really interested in the way that function and form meet together to create a product. One time when I was 14, we went up to Santa Cruz. I ate mushrooms for the first time, and I looked at the skateboard in like a whole different way, like everything started making sense, like looking at the concave and the reason why there's like the weird tapers under the wheel wells and just like the shapes of the nose and tail, like everything just made this incredible amount of sense. I had uh, I had gone through this breakup, you know, and it was like really it was really hard on me. And playing uh, like listening to music was like a way that I could get through it, kind of, you know. I wanted to get closer to it, and I realized that the only way to get closer to it is to like touch it. And like the only way you can touch it is by making it. Right now, I just make parts, nuts and saddles and stuff like that. I've been ordering kits online and building guitars and basses out of kits, like just like there's separate materials and putting them together. I have a buddy that we've been, uh, we're working towards like uh, producing some guitars. This here is like something that I do to help keep me stoked, keep me, you know, thinking about, you know, new tricks that I want to do or have a board that feels different, so when I do tricks that I used to do, it feels better or something. You know, it's just like some, you know, it's just a way to keep the train going down the track, you know? <laughs> keep it from fucking falling off the rails, you know? His throwaway footage makes the trash bin look like a bucket of gold. Spots search for him. His urine is 97% Bondo. He's never even gotten a shinner. He is the most interesting skater in the world. You know, I don't always watch skateboarding. But when I do, it's I double DM. Stay skating, my friends. I'm James Fitz, and this is my house, our house. I got roommates, it's not my house. <laughs> I've been here about two years now. I moved in with some random people at first, like through an app, and then they all moved out, so I kind of took over the house. And then moved D and Glory in. Sierra's here pretty much every day, too. Just somehow doesn't get to pay rent. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
We got Beagle here all the time. Beagle DJ's here a lot. DJ and them boys are here all the time. Uh, who else? Fuck, Twan was living here for a little bit with me. <laughs> when he comes and stays with here, when he comes in town. Oh, Terrell comes over a lot. Oh, yeah, Terrell. They all take you on my little routine. We got Stella, bike rides, clean up all this shit in the backyard. <laughs> and then we're gonna have, oh, it's CJ's birthday today. That'll be fun. Beagle's gonna DJ again. Hopefully, D will get up before you guys leave filming. <laughs> and y'all get to meet Gloria too, she's cool. You guys just barely caught me 30 minutes ago waking up. Trying to get up earlier, but no. Now we're gonna start the mission. Fourth joint of the day. Been up for like an hour. <laughs> That's great. It's always great. Shit, I've been living here for about eight months or something like that. It's nice, I like it here. I was living in Long Beach, but this is way closer to Baker Boys and stuff. So I uh, thought I should be closer. And it's better. I get to go to Baker Boys whenever I want, pick some shit up and go skate. And come back here, smoke weed, play video games. That's about it. <laughs> hey, babe, you got me. Mm -hmm. Quit your panicking and start examining the damaging effects. Words had to be complex. Bar sweating, they fat as manatees. I'm managing to live a bandit fantasy. Mysterious and swift. Catch me rapping at the jamboree. Bang the tambourine. Picking at my rhymes like tangerines. You got ample knees for lyrics. I'm the man to see. Every fucking beat supporting weight like John Candy's knee. Rap battling myself, telling me that I need to plead insanity. Flowing like a scuba gang. Kicking it like Lewis Kang. Got me dipping out and quickly coming back like boomerangs. Got me doing things that I never would have did. I took a hit and got lifted. You never met a cooler kid The rumor is Got me waiting on the microwave Made me capable to write for days The type I spray is mellow Made for the type to blaze I like to say If you like the J and Cruz Careful you may start to lightly sway And lose control Raps when I'm sitting in the classroom. Stella's here with me. You know what I'm talking about? Come here, baby. She get to play with daddy while he at work. Just so cut. Oh. Yeah, man. This is just a real solid Sunday spot for the homies. And it's close to the crib, so we don't really got to travel too far. It's nice. Isn't it good, Stella? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Motherfucking turkey chicken or the beer. But the beer is mint chocolate. Sausages over there, got the steak running, salmon. I want the car with the star spaceship headed to Mars. Skip, skip. I want the land to the yacht, yeah, that's on God. Oh, these niggas is jealous, they hate. I got some skill on my plate. I beat the pot to the scrape. All of my junkies gon' wait. Throw me bang in the cake. Open the safe. I got too much in the way. I'm gonna need a new safe. I bought a cake. That bitch hanging off of my shoulder. And it come down in my waist. Yeah, handle my business. I know these niggas ain't with it. I send them shots to your fitted. My old man used to sell work. He was in the kitchen deep fried chicken. Street nigga, I be politicking with the street politicians. Need y'all attention. Who hotter than me? Not now, nigga. And I'm taxing like I'm Uncle Sam, nigga. Yeah. They didn't have birthday boy, but birthday.
birthday girl was the first choice, regardless. <laughs> yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! Cha, cha, cha. Happy <laughs> I jerked off. Does somebody have to eat something now? How does this work? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Check it. I said I rarely ever fuck with fakes. Nighttime chocolate shakes. Plus, I'm a big fan of breakfast that McDonald's makes. Hit the club, I hardly them shake. Get the bread, I hardly wait. And I stay faded, like them cuts at the barber place. I'm always early, day an hour late. How I'm supposed to motivate when all these niggas full late. It's time to set it straight. I flip the feather with the bread I gotta make. If not, then I gotta take. Rolling on the highway, I smoke two L's. That's a cool jet. Higher than a motherfucking blue jet. Kick it old school like a two way. Fresher than a mouthful of toothpaste. These niggas tripping, grabbing suitcase. Damn, I'm in the building like a school day. Let me back it up now, it's a new day. Eating beats up like a souffle. <laughs> Let's go. So that's it for issue number one of iDabble Video Magazine. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. Tune in next time when we check in with Tyson. See how he's doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold up, hey. <laughs> so that, uh, that's what we got. Our, so that's it for, okay. see what happens with Tyson. Wait, what happens with Tyson? Time to see what happens to Tyson and his shin. <laughs> we're gonna go say what's, and then to finish it off, to wrap it up, we're gonna go check in with G. Ostrander. D, oh, fuck me, hang on. <laughs> and Dame Spitz. <laughs> we're gonna go over to, we're gonna go, <laughs> and to finish off, okay. And then we're, okay. And we're gonna go over to fucking T Puds' crib. We're gonna be like, what up, T Puds? Not, not nailing it like I thought it would. Yeah. So, what's up? I'm Mark Appleyard. Welcome over to this shiz. And, and tune in next time. Yeah, this bad boy. Yeah. You wanna take that, dude? You wanna see me here? Handmade. Pharrell would need that back, though. <laughs> yeah, you know where I got these, dude? Got these at the at the Chinese bootleg market, Guangzhou. Guangzhou. You think they're real? That spider freaks me out.
No, you can have them. What am I going to do with them, dude? You know how easy it is to get more of those? This is how you rig the system. You just pay $1,000 and you get to do this all day, free play. We're at Costco, guys, where the shit goes down, and you better be ready. There's cars that pass by without saying, no, you're good. It's the name of the game. Definitely for a few hours, if not for a few more. Did someone just shred? I hear shredding. Uh, there's constant shredding going on at any given moment, depending on if someone has to go pick up their kid or, you know, if there's a bat mitzvah going on. Scott Hursk, OG, triple OG, triple, triple. We got motherfucking Jordan Maxim. I hear he comes out here sometimes. I, I personally have never seen him. He's like fucking, uh, how many words do you want? Do I have to like talk into the mic? Check, one, two. Now we're getting silly. Yep, mid 40s, <laughs> not mid 90s. Give me the pot stick. Oh, sick. I lost some gold teeth. Oh. Well, that's the mission tomorrow, today. Oh, found my gold teeth. Oh, you got me oh, okay. Did you smell it though? Okay. You didn't even smell it. It's caramel. But you just smell it, it's like flavored smell. What? You didn't even smell it. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even smell yeah. it. What? No, it I... smells like a turkey. It actually smells like a real it turkey. Does. It does. You didn't even smell it. Oh, it does. <laughs> 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 Did you fill this up? More? <laughs> Good evening, my friends. <coughs> I don't always watch. <laughs> so I don't always watch skateboarding, but when I do, it's naked. It's smoking a cigar and drinking whiskey. Bitch, I dabble TM, but when I do. But when I do. It's high double VM. Baby. All right, thank you. It's high double VM. Oh, that whiskey's nice. High <laughs> double video magazine. <laughs> 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 Sounds so official.